I'm OM System Ambassador Chris McGinnis. I specialize in macro photos of insects and spiders. When I'm making macro photos, it can be a real challenge to get all of the areas of my subject in focus that I want to be in focus. And that's really due to the short working distance and limited depth of field. Now, I could increase depth of field by closing down my aperture, but I would lose that soft bokeh background. Instead, I like to use a technique called focus stacking. Focus stacking shoots a series of images with varied focal points, and then I can blend those in-focus areas together to create one composited image with greater perceived depth of field. With the OM-1, I can do all of that in camera with the press of a button. To enable focus stacking on the OM-1, press the menu button, navigate over to camera menu two, and then down to focus stacking. Press OK and OK again to turn focus stacking on. Next, set your number of shots. You can set from three all the way up to 15 shots. And for focus differential, you can set from one, which is a narrow differential, all the way up to 10, which is a wide differential. And focus differential just means the distance between focus points for each shot in your series. If you're using a flash, you can set charge time, but we won't be using a flash for this example. Once you're set, press the menu button until you get back to the main screen and you'll see the focus stacking icon in the top left corner. Once focus stacking has been enabled, you're ready to make your image. Compose your subject within the camera's live view screen or electronic viewfinder and set focus. Be sure to set focus on a part of your subject that's near to your lens, the closest point that you want in focus. The series will take an establishment shot, then two frames closer to your lens, and the rest of the series going off in the distance through your subject. Once focus is set, press the shutter button and hold your camera steady. the camera will automatically compose your shots into a single focus stacked image. That's all there is to it. As you can see, my subject remains tack sharp from front to back. And my background is still soft because I used a nice wide aperture. So give it a try, experiment with the settings, try just a few frames, try a lot of frames, open up your focus differential or close it down, and just experiment until you find the settings that work for the images that you want to create.